Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Family Life with Toro and today I will be talking about how I was able to buy a land online in Rwanda and then also I would like to tell you the process and um, you know, so you've not, if you've not subscribed to my channel, I want you to do so. Subscribe, like and share and um, so that we can build this um, together we, so that I can bring you more videos about life issues, um, food and um, people and um, places. So in today's video, I'm talking about how I was able to purchase a land in Rwanda. Uh, my name is, uh, my original name is Jacob Owusuansa and I'm from Ghana. But at the moment I live in Virginia, um, USA. So um, whilst I'm thinking of moving back home, I'm thinking of what to do to be able to sustain myself. What are some of the investments that I, would, I can um, do? And um, I know that there are challenges in Africa, there are challenges in Ghana, so you need to prepare yourself. So I was like, okay, I'm from Ghana, but I can still invest um, a little of, of, of my money um, into something. So I thought about the land. So I've been watching videos, YouTube, and I was like, you know, I, I need to buy this land, but how would I be able to buy it without being in Rwanda? But it's very simple. You can buy land actually in Rwanda. Because the process is very simple. Transferring documents and transferring your name is very simple. It's not like other places where when you buy land, it's taken away from you. The money is gone. Your investment is gone. And it's like you don't want to hear anything about Africa. You don't want to hear anything about uh, Ghana. You don't want to hear anything about um, um, well, I mean Africa. So today, I'd like to talk to you about that. I'd like to talk to you about that. Yes. So I bought the land, bought two plots of land. In a place called Bugasera. And the reason why um, I bought this land from that place is because there's a new airport called the Bugasera International Airport, which, which is springing forth. So I was like, let me get something close to that place. And it's like just 11 miles from where the land is to the airport. And I can tell you, this is a very good investment. And uh, I was talking to the agent, I said, if I leave this land without doing anything on the land, for about three years, how much do you think I can sell one? You know, she gave me a very good, um, a very good, you know, like an amount of money that I can sell one plot of, 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 of this land. So today, I just want you to know how real it is. I bought two plots of land and these are the documents. I bought two plots of them. So it's one next to each other, one next to each other. It's next to each other because I wanted it to, to be together. So somebody may ask, why is it that you were not able to buy it like together? It's because I'm a foreigner and I don't have a business registration in, in, in that um, country. So I can only buy one at a time. So what I did was I put one in my wife's name. I put one in my name next to each other. So when we are ready to do something, what we have to do is to go and then um, register a business and put it together. And that is what we want to do. So these are the, the, the documents. These are the land documents. And these are the process that you need to go through. Um, you, you have to get, um, from because I need to get somebody to do a power of attorney. I need to get um, the state involved. I need to get the um, district involved. I need to get all this um, notarized and um, presented to the um, uh, Rwandan embassy. And that is what I did. They presented this to the Rwandan embassy. And, um, but I'll tell you in my next video, the process of how I was able to get this done. Um, this is United States. I was able to get this um, document, but this is very important. Without this, nobody can sign on your behalf. Power of attorney, nobody can sign on your behalf. So I want you to know that it's not a scam. You can buy land. I myself, I was afraid because I bought few lands before that was taken away from me. I didn't get my money back. I didn't get nothing. I didn't even get a piece of land. Now I want you to know that this is not a scam. It's real. And um, if you're thinking of moving back home to Africa, remember, you can invest anywhere in Africa. It doesn't have to be your home country. You have to think outside the box. You have to be a person who has um, a mind of an investor so that you can do the same. So in my next video, I'll give you the breakdown 
so that you know how much um, I paid and the process and the fees and everything, how much it came up to. So if you're new, subscribe and like and share as we grow this together. Thank you very much. This is Family Life. So also you, you can um, you can also verify the land documents after it's done. What you need to do is you go to the National Land Authority in Rwanda. You can do it online. You verify it once you put in your the UPI of the land. The UPI is, the, I think, the land um, number. The UPI, you put in, then you put in your passport number. It will pop up um, showing your name. And that is what we did. We, we checked it online and we saw that everything has been transferred into our names. So um, it's not something that somebody can take your money and just um, squander it and just go away. Remember also that Rwanda has laws. They have tight laws. They have um, anti-corruption laws, which um, you cannot corrupt people. You cannot sell land to many people and, and you go to jail about that. So you got to be, you have to put that in mind. It's not like any other place that you can find, but it's a very special place. And that is why I want to, I want to do this because um, very soon I'll be moving back home. Um, I think um, it's okay. It's enough. And uh, we need to get something going so that we can make Africa great again. Mm -hmm.